everyone, welcome back to Muscular Development. My name is Lauren Lotta from the Buff Bombshell Show. I'm super excited today because I have the one and only Miss Ashley Coltwasser in the house. Woo, 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 yeah. woo. <laughs> I'm here, guys. I'm here. What's up? What's up? Okay, you guys, I'm a bit starstruck. One, two, very cool. And three, in my home. It's, hey, it's really I'm cool. here. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm so excited because I have Ashley in. I'm going to ask her some questions. And if you didn't already know, Ashley's made history this weekend, winning her 30th pro show. How does that feel? I'm still like, how the heck did I do that? <laughs> no, for real. Like, I, I'm shocked because here's the thing. When I first turned pro, okay, my, I guess ultimate goal was to win one show and i thought that would be the pinnacle like maybe after a few years i can scoop up one show win and maybe qualify for olympia oh. like my expectations were not that high at all i was just like i want to win one pro show one day <laughs> and i did that times 30 and i'm like how the heck did i do that time crazy 30 <laughs> so like you've surpassed the likes of dorian yates and ronnie coleman mm -hmm. and dexter Jackson. However, I will say, oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> apples and oranges. We're comparing apples and oranges because I realize it is a hundred times harder for a bodybuilder to do that than a bikini competitor. So I have to to give props where props are due to those gentlemen, um, because bikini you can maintain a lot longer in the physique you are, just like I did all year la long. So. Well, I feel like you can maintain, but the only thing is with bikini, I feel like the look changes. I will say with bikini, it is more of like a ever-changing thing, yes, or more subjective. So it could be anybody's game type deal. Yeah. Um, so I guess when you factor that in, but still, it is much harder to prep <laughs> for bodybuilding. I guess, yes, yeah, so for the guys. But how do you find like your bikini then has changed or your bikini preps have changed from when you first started to now? Because oh. that's got to be historical for you as well. Yeah. So, you know, back um, a few years ago, it wasn't like it is now. I feel like it was much more bro science and more bodybuilder uh, geared type preps, like going hardcore, like <laughs> going like, uh, you know, those bro science type myths in in bodybuilding like bulking for example mm -hmm. in the off season you know I, and when i first started training for bikini i thought like wow it's my off season time to put on some fat so that fat can equal muscle if i try hard enough and that's not how it goes as we know now i'm much more uh, wise to that these days mm -hmm. but it was much more like that old school bodybuilder type yeah. prep for bikini which doesn't make any sense reflecting on it but there wasn't that much knowledge about bikini back in the day you mm -hmm. know and also i guess with bikini it's not like you have to put on in like so much ma mass and size or you're not really unless you wanted to move up divisions you wouldn't have to take as long of an off season anyway oh yeah so totally. i feel like for me as well the bulking thing is completely out yes it's an excuse to eat whatever you want <laughs> i don't <laughs> but... believe in it i really don't yeah and i've been on both um sides of the scale before mm -hmm. so i like well not huge huge but you know i've been bigger last year after a post show thinking okay now it is time to off season and i think it's just the wrong mindset to go about it for bikini mm -hmm. so that's just my personal opinion we might get some hate on this but i don't care um it is just what it is, but I just don't believe in it either. Oh, so I don't either. You don't, you don't need yep. to put on that. Un not, fat doesn't necessarily equal muscle. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Although I will say I, I get that we can't stay stage lean all year round. I understand that part. But to go even I, I like to set a limit of 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's pretty fair for most girls. Um, but it can vary depending on how tall the girl is, too. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't go past 10 these days. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then I will go back into the historical moment of the 14th of November, 2021 at Romania Muscle Fest Pro. Oh, okay. Because this was very cool. This was like, I actually got to witness this, which was just awesome. And then obviously I've been following your contest history for, mm -hmm. well, uber long time. If you guys didn't know, Ashley was actually the first bikini lady that I ever came across in 2014 because I was studying mm -hmm. and I was like I want to do a bodybuilding show so I started looking online about bodybuilding and I came across bodybuilding.com and like how to do a diet and Kim Otto was on there 
and then I saw Ashley Coltwasser at Olympia and I was like oh they've got bikinis so yeah. I was like okay I can do this and then I can do this um so yeah that's where it pretty much all started for me with bikini but I didn't actually compete until a few years after it so it's very cool I just think it's cool like <laughs> it's like you put it into reality now we're like hey we know each other now and I'm sitting here across from you. How crazy is that? It is really crazy. Yeah. I don't think my 20, like two year old self could believe it. Mm -hmm. If I knew, like if you told me years ago that I'd be sitting opposite Ashley Coltwasser talking to her about bikini and drinking tea at home <laughs> in my home, I don't think I would have been like, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, whatever, but it's happening, so. That's pretty cool for me. Oh, thank well, you. Well, I love hearing that. I think it's cool how things work out like that. It's like you put it into the universe kind of thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was clearly destined to be <laughs> in bodybuilding for both of us. So I'm so happy. And now I'm going to show you something. Hold on. Before we go on, another cool thing is Ooh. we're going to be competing with oh. each other. Oh, my gosh. Next okay. week. I haven't told many people. Oh, I can't. Okay. No, that's okay. We okay. can tell okay. people Okay, we're going to announce it to the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. It's official. Um. You want to say? Okay, we are both competing at the Big Man Weekend Show. Yes, together. Well, you're a day ahead of me, but still, same weekend, same show. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. I will be competing as NPC, and Ashley will be competing in IFBB. Ah, <laughs> Big Man Weekend, here we come. Woo. So you guys, if you haven't already registered and you're here in Europe, go check out ifbbprospain.com and... Go and register for Emilia Martinez's show because it's absolutely spectacular. And I can guarantee you'll have an amazing time because I was there in August and it was crazy awesome. Ooh. So I can't wait. Yes. I can't wait for you to go and see it. Mm -hmm. And I might be twinning to Ashley. Uh huh. We're going to try it out. We're <laughs> gonna, she's going to try on some of the suits. So maybe she'll wear the one that I wore in Romania if it fits maybe yeah. if she likes it I'm going to try on some bikinis by Angel Competition Bikinis mm -hmm. who we have Cara Jones here too and she actually makes the bikinis so I'm very excited so thank you to Cara as well but and she made these socks yes on, look mom I'm on socks <laughs> look mom I made it I'm on socks so Ashley is on socks <laughs> They're good. They're good. Give or are you giving? Oh, those are for the seminar. Actually, yeah, we can quickly talk about that too. You guys, obviously, the reason why Ashley is here is because she's doing a tour here in the UK and in Spain. Mm -hmm. So you started your journey in Romania, mm -hmm. won the Romania Muscle Fest Pro. Mm -hmm. You're now in the UK, and when you do these seminars, we'll be doing and giving out goodie bags, and you'll get a beautiful pair of Angel Competition bikini socks with Angel. Ashley on it okay <laughs> and that will be as one of your items in your goodie bag so please make sure that you come and see Ashley I mean I even if they didn't come to see me I would just come for the socks you know yeah come Building. for the socks the Ooh, sorry <laughs> I actually didn't press the button but yeah come for the socks and please come and just do your thing because it's been so cool to um do this and I have to say it's thank you for putting your faith there you go Ashley thank you for putting your faith into me organizing this because oh absolutely i'm honored that you asked me oh. like i didn't know it was that cool thank you <laughs> this is wonderful. gonna be fun yeah so now i'm gonna show you something okay because i don't look. think you've had a chance to watch this back i didn't do you get a chance to watch your shows back sometimes but i've been sleeping and jet lagged this whole time so i have some of the stuff i'm still discovering <laughs> oh yeah because yeah I don't know what the time difference is for you, but look at you on stage. That's me. So you guys, this was this weekend, Romania Muscle Fest Pro, and yes. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> so do you do your own posing? I, I have help from my coach and some others here and there, and I'm actually going to get a little posing session with Emma uh, yeah. tomorrow. So, you know, here and there I get it from wherever I can, but, you know. You know what the best practice for posing is? The stage itself. Because mm. I will say, you know, you can practice on an iPhone or in front of your coach all day long, but stage is a whole different ball game. Have you seen, like, um, did you get to meet any of these other ladies backstage? Yeah, they were all quite nice. Really nice. So it's all just different. Yeah. I was the only American, which is strange because <laughs> I'm, you know, usually there's a lot of us, but hey, I'm in their territory now, so that makes sense. 
He's the only American. Was there any language barrier between the girls and you? Actually, they, I'm from who I talked to. They all spoke English. And yeah. like, how did you find the the Romania Muscle Fest show in terms of like the whole atmosphere and everything that went on? Oh my. So much hype for the show. Yeah. And that stage, look at it. How epic <laughs> is that stage? You can't beat that. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. But it, it looks so amazing. I felt so, I felt like a superstar. I felt like a freaking superstar, which is so cool. That stage is something else. Yeah. And really good photos from this as well because of the lighting and everything was on point. And although our viewers can't see it, I will shout it out because I appreciate it as an oh. athlete that the stage was nice and rubberized because oh. sometimes things you don't think about as a bikini competitor if it's carpeted sometimes it's hard to turn and if it's like shellac or slippery the too much friction and when you do turn it's like over rotation so it was a good stage for that i will say i gotta and, say that's something i've never thought about and i also <laughs> i like that it's just you know just so put together it just looks like such a production you know mm. and the colors the color schemes everything did you know that that space is actually a club i was told that after but yeah it makes sense so last year apparently they closed down the show and turned it back into a club and then they had to reopen it for the show the next day oh wow but they didn't do it this year i believe oh um but i'd only like to know what that club looks like when i go back to romania one day mm, yes <laughs> So this is first call outs mm -hmm. and they're going to compare you. I thought the judging was spot on here with Becky Clawson too. Mm -hmm. I thought like for all of the categories, she was really, um, she has such a good eye. So I was oh, really, she knows what she's doing yeah. and she used to be a competitor herself. So she has that aspect and she knows it all. And it's just, it was really nice to have her there. And she really takes the time to like explain everything for feedback too. If anybody wants it, she's very knowledgeable and a great speaker as well. Although you only heard her, you know, her judging call outs yeah. and stuff. If you ever hear her speak at a seminar or whatever, she is really, really good. Really good. Very articulate. Did you get any feedback from this show? I did not get feedback from the show yet. Um, <laughs> after the show is pretty darn exhausting. <laughs> but um, some, you know, that's what happens sometimes too. Sometimes I don't get feedback after a show if it runs too late. Right. Because I'm just like, I just want to go back to the room and take a shower but <laughs> i will definitely get the feedback and then in your opinion what do you what do you what are the most like important aspects that they look for in bikini right now well um you know kind of stereotypical but if you don't got glutes you're gonna have a really hard time in this particular division um we're really i think what really sets the bikini division apart from others is you really have to be super hourglass shape and just really have a lot of emphasis on the waistline, um, shoulder width and glutes is I guess the biggest things I would look for. But also in bikini comes the element of overall look and appearance too. Um, everything has to be so on point, the hair, the makeup, the tan, not that it doesn't matter in other divisions, but more so in bikini than the others as well. So you gotta have that all down to a T. Right. And then this over here is the awards section. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys. So this was really cool. I don't know if I can turn the volume up. Oh. Can I? <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn the volume up, but I hope that we don't get copyright. So I do apolo apologize, Jen, if we do. <laughs> but there's a reason why From I'm Russia, turning the volume up. Making her pro debut, Tatiana Lanovenko. Incredible. Fourth place. Well, that's my voice. Amateur to pro yesterday. Oh, that's you. First pro show. She's got points to Olympia. Amazing. Let's take our third place medal. The check for five hundred dollars. Presented to our third place finisher from Brazil, Jessica Bruin. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who's got it? Who's got it? <laughs> it's Giles. Okay, Giles and I were so nervous. Really? I was like, okay, it's. I was like, I was making my notes and I was doing my bikini things. So I was like, okay, come on, come on. Oh, uh, like, yeah. This is against me because you know what's going to happen after a second. It's like, the and they always do this long pause. To your runner up. Long pause. From France. And then I was, I was like, like yes. Ashley won. Ashley won. Uh, once they said France, I'm like, yes. She's won 30, <laughs> 30 
I got goosebumps. Bro. Look, Shots. goosebumps. Oh my god. Goosebumps. Talk to me. All right, you guys. Talk to me. <laughs> okay, first of all, congratulations. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. We, hang on. She we hasn't like, yet. Don't count your chickens. To your winner, let's really? present the sash to Tiara. The Wings of Strength Romania Muscle ah. First Custom Belt. The title of 2021 Romania Muscle Fest Bikini Pro Champ. And check for $2,000. And that ticket back to the Olympia <laughs> like she's never been there before to your winner from the USA, Ash. Yeah! Oh, oh, yes! Oh, wow! <laughs> wow. Oh, yes! My oh, oh my god, I'm so tense. Sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry oh. I blasted everyone's ears up oh. there. So sorry. <laughs> Oh Such a God. good moment. That's so cool. Oh my goodness, you guys. Ashley Coldwasser has got her 30th win. The GOAT of Bikini. Most Bikini Pro oh, wins ever. Man. 30 wins. Oh my God. <laughs> and she's going for Alicante in two weeks' time at the Big Man Weekend. And she's doing Toronto. She could end the year with 32 Pro wins. <laughs> We're putting it out there into the universe. There you go. <laughs> Oh, we've got to carry that bloody belt back there. <laughs> yeah, that's a heavy belt. It weighs Four down the luggage. luggage. <laughs> oh, she's only got like two and a half cases. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, okay. We were so now happy. We're I know. Yeah, that baby. was such a good moment. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> All right, you guys, congratulations to Alison. What's up, congratulations to Alison? I kind of forgot to, like, yes. congratulate. Incredible. And I was like, oh, crap, so let's just congratulate Beautiful. and get back to Beautiful. Oh. Because so I was like, oh, no. Absolutely. Wins. Well done to all Tell 16 ladies that are on that stage today. Ronnie Coleman, Kevin Vernon, Vince Taylor are going to be annoyed now. <laughs> 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 Too many for a win. How many wins is that this year? Eight. Is that right? That would have been eight, yeah. Oh, my gosh, I'm right. She's this year. Like, she's racking them up. OMFG. OMFG. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> We're not finished. This way, do your U-turn. Here we Yay. go, what's up? Oh. All right, so how you doing, pal? It's the first time we get to meet. Listen, I have a thing. It's grown very popular outside of domestic US. It's called the Bikini High Five. That's a lot. All right, so congratulations. <laughs> up. Cool, we did it. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Sorry, I got a bit loud there, guys. Sorry. Dude, <laughs> when are you going to stop this? <laughs> For real, listen. <laughs> this guy's funny. You keep winning these shows, you keep taking a little break, then you come back, win more shows, you keep doing it over and over again. Now you're doing a tour of Europe, you're probably gonna dominate more, and now you're going back to the Olympia. <laughs> yep. Like, that's and not on her tour next week. But in how UK, you feeling, then Spain, huh? check it out. <laughs> I am so jet lagged, but this excitement <laughs> and adrenaline and happiness just overrides it all. And I swear, like, it's my 30th show. Oh. And it is, every time it feels like my first one, it's, I can't believe I made it this far. So it's, I'm really happy. I said, I'm happy for you, pal. But listen, 30 shows in. I'm not crying, you're crying. Three, zero. <laughs> I did and actually cry. In the audience who I was like, to 30 gosh. years old or been around for all 30 of those shows. Yeah. I think yeah. that's this guy wins. Right? Yeah, 30 wins. 30 wins. Get it right, Billy. Wins. I, I was going to say, I think that's almost like a bikini all time record. She's like I the bikini of Dexter Jackson. All time. Beaten Dexter. I yep. Think yeah. <laughs> 29. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 29. Oh God, are you listening? Yep. Are we doing Is this IFBB Professional League history? History. Yes. History. Ladies and gentlemen, the all time yes. winner in the uh. IFBB Professional <laughs> League, Ashley Coldwasser. Breaking records. What? <laughs> what just happened? Did we just figure that out, or did you already know? <laughs> did you already know that? Oh my god, of course, of course, Becky Clausen knew that. There you but go. listen, have you anything you want to say? I know you're crying, I don't want to take up too much time. You <laughs> obviously have to the US, years. and I, probably Jim and Tyler's watching, and anybody Fantastic. else you want to thank. so happy for her. Uh, I honestly, I, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the NPC FBB, obviously. So, I mean, I gotta be grateful for them to like mm. let me live my dream, and I'm, I love... I love what I do. It's so much fun. So I, I'm going to continue on. I'm just getting started. So yeah. Ooh, oh my! <laughs> 30 wins in. She's just getting started. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you're home. You've just watched history in the making. So Amazing. ladies and gentlemen, Amazing. your 2021 so Romania Muscle Fest Bikini Pro Champ. It's been an honor, pal, to call your 30th win and wow. 30th show. History. Ashley Cutwasser. Yay. That was so awesome. Ah, that is right, such I a wanna scream. I want to cry right now. It's such a memorable moment. So yeah, that was your win, and <laughs> you were just like.
I was just so taken away with it. I actually did cry because I was oh, so happy. I like, didn't think I was going to cry. Well, we didn't know I was going to like, We were oh. both, we were just oh, so relieved and like everything because we were yeah. like, we're rooting for you, obviously, and we want you to do well. Mm -hmm. But we were just like, when that happened, it was the mo it was one of the best bodybuilding moments I've personally ever seen because it's like, it is history. Mm. How cool is that? I Yeah, and what I said up there was true, <laughs> like, you would think like, you know, 30 wins when I win, it's kind of like, yeah, whatever. No. no, it literally feels like my first win every single time. Like, even if it's a small show or a big show like this, it doesn't matter. And it that feeling is still the same. And I never expected either. You know what I mean? Even if it's a show with, I don't know, five girls in it, that's never happened. But even if it was just a small show or whatever, I never like go in thinking, yeah, I'm going to take this. <laughs> like, I I think how I'm able to keep going for so long and not get tired is because I don't set that expectation for myself because I feel like when you expect that out of yourself and then you assume that you're going to win when you don't, it's a disappointment and you get discouraged. But if you go into it like, you know what? Hey, you gave it my all. I'm really proud of my physique. I feel good about this. I'm going to go out there and do what I can. Give my best. Give my all. Enjoy every second of it. And we'll see what happens at the end of the day. But if I win, that's icing on the cake. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> in bikini, it's very volatile. You know, it can be anybody's game on any given day. So I always have to keep that mindset alive and just be like, hey, I'm proud of this physique. Now let's go rock it. And mm -hmm. when I win, it's like a surprise to me. And it makes me like super grateful <laughs> for everything. And it's just like, wow, I did that. <laughs> I get that from you a lot, mm -hmm. like from all the shows that you've done. Yeah. And I think it's really wonderful. So it's um, it's something it's so nice to see. And I'm just so honored. So oh. I can't wait. Yay. I can't wait. So I'm on tour with Ashley. Yay. We're doing the dang thing. But yeah, no, I get that from you. And I, you are very genuine. So I'm I'm so happy that you come across the same way that you do online. Oh, thank you. As you do in real life. Yeah. I mean, hey, that's all I can be, you know? You have to be. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. And um, yeah, thank, uh, thank you again for putting your trust in me with this. Absolutely. And with Giles, because... Um, it's been <laughs> we've been planning this for a while and it's been going so i'm so happy like i said i'm extremely honored that you chose me to be your um i guess representative of the seminar that are you means kidding a me? lot of course we're gonna do ashley cole also it's miss ashley oh. cole also oh, thank so, you <laughs> i'm very excited so i'm fangirling right now mm. in my home so it's really cool <laughs> <laughs> okay I don't know if there's anything else that you want to go over that you want to talk about or... Um, you know, I think like, I think it's kind of cool to mention or give my experience on like traveling overseas and prepping and all the experiences you can have with competing, you know, because competing can take you so many places like Romania, like <laughs> Spain, like the UK, like in your house. And... It's all what you make of it, right? Yeah. So just enjoy every single moment and just take every opportunity to better yourself like this one to do this tour. I always say take every single opportunity to better yourself, although maybe some of them are inconvenient. Look at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you might be missing out on fun if you don't take these opportunities. And I'm having so much fun so far. And it, the fun's just begun. We haven't even started the seminars yet. So my goodness, we're like, one third of the way there. Next, we're doing seminars. And the next, we're going to be competing in Spain. You and I both. How cool will that be? <laughs> you know? That, and hopefully, I get to see you on stage, given like if my if I have an athlete meeting, I'm not sure. But I really want to see you on stage. So hopefully, that's a possibility. And I think it's just cool that we're going to be there for each other. And it's kind of like I can vicariously compete through you. <laughs> and you can vicariously compete through me. It's, a, it's going to be a good time. I'm really excited. But, you know, I'm just a girl from Akron, Ohio. Hmm. Okay. I never really expected much for myself. I never thought I'd leave Ohio. And uh, competing has taken me so many places that I never thought I would go where I would go. And so many opportunities and people that I never thought I would meet. Yeah. You know? And I just think it's kind of cool. You just got to keep going with it and keep keep with it. Keep persistent. And even, even in the beginning when things don't go your way, just keep at it. Because... If I quit every time things didn't go my way, I would have been done years ago. Mm -hmm. But you just got to keep pushing through. 
I really like that mm-hmm. advice. Yeah. Thank you. And, mm-hmm. and think everyone can take that on board. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. I definitely need some of that right now. So thanks. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of times in this sport you know, or any sport, really, like if things don't go your way, you get salty and get discouraged. <laughs> salty. You know, salty. Yes. You get salty. <laughs> And no one, you know, everyone loves to win, right? But realize it's not, sometimes it's not always going to go your way. Um, But I think, especially at the pro level, right, when you start winning and you start getting opportunities, you get sponsorships, endorsements, you forget where you started and, and what that feeling was like when you got your first win or your first sponsorship. I remember my first sponsorship was just free spray tans. And the t- when I got that, sponsorship for free spray tans you I was the happiest girl on earth and I felt so honored you know and throughout the years I've accumulated much much more than that but I never forget what it feels like for the little moments the little things the little accomplishments right same thing that's why I feel the same way every time I win it's like (laughs) I never forget that first win I never want to get used to the feeling of winning you know I don't want that to become like the factor in my mind that determines my happiness after a show so you can't forget the little things you got to stay grateful for every little thing every Mm. person you meet you know whether it be an amateur bikini competitor backstage or or you know someone like yourself or whoever you know it and and when someone wants to take a picture with you too (laughs) it's like kind of cool right don't forget what that feeling was like the first time someone asked to take a picture with you because that's kind of cool and you never know who you're like inspiring behind the scenes but you don't know so you know just don't forget the little things be grateful thank you Mm -hmm. i really like this advice a lot absolutely and i just want to end this and quickly say a huge shout out to ashley sponsors because you mentioned that too and i just want to say thank you to high tech pharmaceuticals Mm -hmm. because that would thank you so much and to all your other sponsors and your coach adam from team elite physique which um i'd love to meet one day and you know so i can't wait for that one day um because he's he's on my bodybuilding bucket list like oh, people to me <laughs> yeah you will one day <laughs> i have like this list of people um but no thank you so much to like coach adam and i think liquid sunrays mm-hmm. and angel competition bikinis and just like to everyone for bringing ashley here and for making ashley and for you know, well helping ashley over the last couple of years so yeah um we really appreciate it from our side and i know that ashley does too absolutely absolutely so you guys thank you so much for watching this episode on muscular development please make sure that you like share and subscribe make sure that you go to ashley k fit on instagram follow her journey and if you're not already then go follow it because it's incredible Mm -hmm. and we hope to see you again soon bye (laughs) ta-ta Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Lata, co-promoter of the Olympia All-Star Tour here in the UK with Giles Tiger Thomas. We are exactly five weeks out to having Ashley Kaltwasser visiting us here in the UK and I would like to show you guys how you can purchase your tickets to visit Ashley Kaltwasser, pose with her and meet her and ask her all of your favorite bikini questions. So all you have to do to purchase your ticket is head on over to www.buffbombshell.com, click onto the Olympia All-Star Tour tab You will be presented with an option of five gyms, four here in the UK and one in Spain. So there are two different ways to purchase your ticket. One, if you are a resident here in the UK and two, if you are going to be visiting Ashley in Spain. So we'll start off with the UK first. All you have to do is choose which gym you want to visit Ashley at. So for example, I will choose Ultimate Birmingham Fitness or Ultimate Fitness in Birmingham. Click your, um, add the ticket to your cart view your cart and then when you are in your cart you click on the free uk shipping option proceed to checkout enter in your billing details and other payment details choose to either pay by paypal or by debit or credit card click on the terms and conditions and then proceed and you have purchased your ticket to visit Ashley Kaltwasser here in the UK. But if you are coming from Spain or anywhere from the EU, go back to the Olympia All-Star Tour tab, 
click on the 24th of November Empro Training Academy Spain tab. Add the ticket to your cart. View your cart. And I'm just going to take out this UK option. And what you're going to do over here is you're just going to put in the coupon tour, apply it. You will get free shipping because it's a ticket. And all you have to do is proceed to checkout. Enter in your billing details and other details, then choose to pay by either PayPal or debit or credit card and then click on the terms and conditions and proceed to checkout. And that is if you are living in anywhere in the EU or in Spain. So you guys, that is how you can purchase your ticket to visit Ashley Kaltwasser here in the UK or at Spain. We hope to see you there. If you have any other questions, please email us at buffbombshell100 at gmail.com or visit us on Instagram at buffbombshellxoxo. And we look forward to seeing you guys and have an amazing week. Bye.